Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a brand new video welcome to a brand new series on the channel and guess what ladies and gentlemen we have FIFA 18 so you guys know exactly what that means it means we're starting the FIFA 18 Club America career mode video smash a big old thumbs up if you guys are excited let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys expect from this team in not only uh this season but the seasons to come so i'm very excited of course i got ea access so i'm able to bring to you guys this uh content to you guys uh and of course i'm only limited to 10 hours so i'm doing my best to hustle and really just get as much as i can but the next video will not come out until i get your guys's feedback for something and We'll jump into that something a little bit later. So first, let's get off. And so you guys can see exactly what's going on in the brand new career mode. Uh, so as you guys can see, we're going to start off with our preseason um, agenda. You can, uh, I guess, put it that way. Um, we did accept the North American All-Star one. I believe it's the name of it. Uh, we're going to be going to the States to uh, play a little bit of our football and um, yeah, it, it, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that uh, difficult of a preseason. Um, and I expect to heavily rotate the squads only because I really want to get a feel of each player. You know, it's one thing to have their ratings and, you know, I'll, I'll, you guys will be able to see the ratings for each player right now in a little bit. Um, and I just want to be able to know exactly what I'm dealing with. So before we go any further, I want to show you guys exactly what the objectives are for the season. Youth development is uh, in the medium section. Brand exposure is high, though. We need to sign one crucial team player either in the midfield or uh, in uh, the forward position. Continental success. They want us to win the Libertadores and the domestic success. Of course, they want us to reach the playoffs final for both. Uh, the apertura and clausura so here you guys can see the budget it's not a lot of money um we really don't have much to really go on and work with um but we're going to try to sell a couple players we're going to try to get a little bit of more money come our way and we're definitely going to try to do our best to uh just increment our um financial uh status so uh, I'm going to show you guys exactly now the new squad hubs is kind of like, you know, the, the squad roster report. And here you guys can see exactly each player. If you guys want to see more in detail, just pause it. It'll give you a little bit more of an idea of what's going on. But here you guys can see exactly the players that we have. Some of them are on loan. But um, let me go through and talk exactly which players are staying and which players are potentially leaving uh so on top you guys saw luis amador he is a player that i'm looking to possibly sell um colula is on loan in ocaxa gil Bunon. now he's been at the club for quite a while now and i'm not too sure whether or not he will continue or rentia of course he just barely showed up so we can't really um do anything about that uh bruno valdez paula Girard, edson alvarez they're all gonna stay as well as cedillo and carlos vargas i think we have a pretty good solid defense in that uh miguel samudio of course a left back really our only natural left back um we're going to possibly be looking to bring in someone else. Um, we're not really going to count heavily on the Paraguayan. And then you guys can see right there, our central midfielders is Guido Rodriguez. Of course, Chapaguera Rosado on loan. Carlos Rosel. And then you guys can see Diego Lainez. What a player he's going to be for us this season. Renato Ibarra. Then uh, we're going down more to the center midfield. It's uh, William Da Silva, uh, Cristian Paredes, Matias Uribe. Of course, Pellerano is out on loan. Uh, Gerson Torres now in the game. Brian Lozano, of course, on loan to Santos. Uh, Pedro Arce and uh, Cecilio Dominguez. As you guys can see, he's a cam, but very versatile. Uh, Manu Perez is a right winger. And uh, Marin, of course, striker with Guero Diaz. Silvio Romero, who I'm pretty sure most of you guys would be asking me to sell him. And we are potentially going to put him up for transfer. Let's just, there you guys can see Oreo Peralta, Sanchez, and Darwin Quintero. A player that's starting to pick up form under Pio Herrera. Whether or not he will be able to do that for us, we'll have to wait and see. But like I said, Silvio Romero will be going on to the transfer list. Uh, Ricardo Marin is another player that um, 
is not going to get a lot of game time with us. So I thought, you know what? Let's add him to the loan list. Let's uh, make sure he gets a little bit of a gameplay going. And, uh, you know, and I thought about it, you know, this is a player, Cristian Paredes, who really maybe has a potential, but I can't really see him in this squad. He doesn't really fit in right away. So we're going to try to get some money off for him. Carlos Rosell, another player that's kind of been at the team for quite a while, hasn't really broken out, isn't really showing me much. So he's going to be another one of those players to leave. And then, of course, uh, like I mentioned, Amador, uh, just another player, 21 years old, 59 rated, mm, not looking that good at all, not looking good at all. And then, like I mentioned, Gil Buron, again, uh, 23 years old, only 63 rated, not really that well, not really an eye-opener, neither is Orrentia, but not much we can do about him. He just recently joined the club. So... This is where I'm going to show you guys now the transfer hub for what I need your guys' help on. We obviously need a striker to come in and help fill the gap that we are trying to potentially make by selling Silvio Romero. So here are the options. Sebastián Jovinko, Dario Benedetto, Emilio Sala, and Emiliano, excuse me, Raúl Alonso Jiménez. Now, I am going to leave this to a twitter poll it's gonna be out on my twitter page so make sure you guys follow the link to my twitter it is uh in the description down below and let me know who you guys think should be the player that we should sign um and let me know in the comment section down below too let me know who do you guys think we should be bringing in in order to fill that gap of Silvio Romero because of course he's not been playing well his rating is just absolutely shocking and we need someone better we need someone up top that can you know partner well with uh, Oriol Peralta and I think that uh, I think uh, you know either of those players could be a great fit for the squad so we're going to be playing our first and only game of the video uh, we're going to up against Philadelphia Unions in our first game of the preseason I just wanted to show you guys real quickly uh, the squad I'm going with their ratings of course and then I'm going to show you guys too we're going to bring in Diego Lainez it's just uh, it's going to be an all around game where I just get a feel of every player that I can possibly get of course in the further in the next video of course we'll get to see a little bit more players we'll get to see a little bit more action but right now the majority of the concern is to get transfers done we're trying to bring in new people and we're trying to get something going so the game kicks off and it's our first look at the gameplay, how the game plays in FIFA 18. And boy, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, it is smooth. It is good. And they've just really outdid themselves this year. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, that is confetti on the floor. Absolutely authentic. And talking about great, Silvio Romero puts the ball into the back of the net. It does mean just after seven minutes of the match, we do get the lead and it's from the man that we have been criticizing all season long it's silvio romero who puts the back of the ball in the back of the net and now questions stand can he perform to the point where we may have to doubt whether or not we sell him questions will be asked of course but we'll have to wait and see whether or not we can get said answer for that it's going to be solely up to him whether or not he wants to stay and then there you guys can see as soon as we score they could potentially score back on us unfortunately for them and luckily for us their striker sends it over the bar here you guys can see 26 minutes later uh into the match william da silva with a wonderful shot not too powerful of a strike very well located hits the 